Hi friends this is Ramya from Wild Turmeric today i'm making steamed distilled rose water but with an additional ingredient to make it even more effective for making steamed distilled rose water collect fresh roses separate the petals and add them to a bowl of water please make sure to use only pesticide free rose petals else it will cause more harm than good rose water has anti inflammatory astringent antibacterial and antioxidant properties rose water helps soothe skin irritation reduces skin redness heals cuts scars and burns prevents and reduces skin infections has anti-aging properties and the wonderful fragrance also helps reduce stress now take the rose petals in a pot The additional ingredient that I mentioned is licorice root. Take two licorice roots in a mortar and pestle and pound to break them. Pounding helps the roots release their essence into the rose water faster. Add the pounded roots to the rose petals. Add an enough water to cover the petals. Place a small cup or a pot in the middle. Now invert the lid and place it over the bowl so that the lid knob is above the small bowl. This is very important else the condensed liquid will not drip into the small pot. Now place ice cubes on top. When the mixture boils, the steam will rise, hit the cold lid, condense and drip into the small pot. Let the mixture boil in low to medium flame for 40 to 45 minutes. Half way through cooking, add in some more ice cubes to bring down the temperature of the lid. Always use a lid with a knob for this method. Make sure to check the water level and add in more water if necessary. After 45 minutes, remove the bowl from the fire and let the rose water cool completely. This rose water is even more potent than regular steam distilled rose water as we are adding licorice roots. Licorice inhibits tyrosinase, which plays an important role in preventing melanin accumulation in skin. So they are usually added to creams to treat hyperpigmentation. along with treating pigmentation it also reduces inflammation and has antimicrobial and anti-aging properties this rose water will last well in the fridge for a few weeks you can use this rose water as a face mist or you can use it to make face packs too to make the face pack take the required amount of basin in a bowl add in a teaspoon of raw honey finally add in the prepared rose water Now mix well. To use, apply this paste all over the face. Wait for it to almost dry and then wash it off. This pack will help fade scars and pigmentation with regular use. This rose water can be used for all skin types. It also smells wonderful. 
I have used the most fragrant paneer variety roses here. Always try to use fragrant variety roses for making steamed distilled rose water to enjoy the beautiful fragrance. You can also use this rose water to mix bath powders. It will help reduce blemishes all over the body very very effectively. Do give it a try without fail. I hope you found this video useful. If you like to support me in this channel, please share this video with your friends. It will mean a lot to me. If you like to get detailed information about herbs on days I don't post videos, press the notification button. Thank you for watching this video.